views and opinions of this show and program are not the views and opinions of this station, its management, or its clientele. The House of Light presents Lyrical Wisdom. Each and every week at this time, join Donna and her guests as they discuss the content of some of your favorite songs, their favorite songs, the lyrics, and how they connect with your light and within you. Now it's time for Lyrical Wisdom. Here's your host, Donna Wood. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to WQEE 99.1 FM. Thank you for joining us for Lyrical Wisdom wisdom. Today I have a very special co-host. Bruce could not be with me, so I have brought my daughter Allison. (laughs) She helps us with the recording of these um, programs for you when we're not live. So I think it's going to be a fantastic day because she is music in body. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, it's going to be exciting. How are you, Ryan? Well, I'm doing well. Did you? Were you going to try to uh, do that to me again? <laughs> I wasn't ready this show. Oh. I was ready last show. Yep, yep. Well, um, I just wanted to say welcome to everyone that is here with us today for Lyrical Wisdom. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to the Navajo Nation Woo-hoo. for joining us. Woohoo, yes. Yes. Um, today, our song is Come Sail Away by Styx. Very fascinating song when I read the lyrics. Um, I think, wasn't this song written like in the 70s, I think? Sounds right. Yes. Yeah. 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 About the 70s. Um, and I had no idea. <laughs> I, I, you know, when um, you'll see when I read the lyrics. <laughs> but um, that's what I'm going to do first. I'd like to read the lyrics to this song, and then we're going to give you some wisdom behind the words. Come Sail Away by Styx. I'm sailing away. Set an open course for the virgin sea, cause I've got to be free, free to face the life that's ahead of me. On board, I'm the captain, so climb aboard, we'll search for tomorrow on every shore. And I'll try, oh Lord, I'll try to carry on. I look to the sea, reflections in the waves spark my memory. Some happy, some sad. I think of childhood friends and the dreams we had. We lived happily forever, so the story goes. But somehow we missed out on the pot of gold. But we'll try best that we can to carry on. A gathering of angels appeared above my head. They sang to me this song of hope, and this is what they said. They said, come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, lads. I thought that they were angels, but to my surprise, we climbed aboard their starship and headed for the skies, singing, Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me, lads. (laughs) Yeah. So when this song starts, it's got a beautiful, soft, piano just a real soft melody with the piano and then when I look to the sea begins uh, there's like a little more like an orchestra behind it a little more music added to it and then right before a gathering of angels appeared above my head 
bam! All of a sudden, the drums start playing and the whole band comes in and it's powerful, very powerful. And then, right before I thought that they were angels, <laughs> there's this interlude of really, well, it's synth synthesized music that's very galactic, very, you know, very cosmic. And um, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So, have you ever been sailing, Allison? Yes. You have? Yeah, we've been yeah. on a sailboat once or twice. Yeah. Okay, okay. I've never been the sailor, but I've been on a boat. <laughs> okay, so when you're sailing, what's it like? I might not be the best example because I do get seasick. <laughs> <laughs> Some people do. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it almost feels like floating. Yeah. floating on the water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly it it's yeah. for me. It's like a calming. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a rocking motion, mm -hmm. which to me, you know, as an infant, that's how you calm an infant. Sometimes in a rocking chair, mm -hmm. you know, you hold it and you rock it. Um, for me, being on the ocean has, I have been sailing. I have been really sailing. I remember in high school, I took a trip with a friend of mine where uh, you actually sleep on the sailboat, um, you know, in the bottom of the sailboat. And um, it was, it was really, it was different. It puts your mind in a different place. Because all you see is the ocean around you. So he is sailing away, setting an open course for the Virgin Sea. What, what is that? Is there a difference between the sea and a Virgin Sea? I don't know if this is the dictionary definition, but I thought it just meant a place he had never been. A That's the sea how I never been. Yeah, yeah. 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 I see it as newness, as mm -hmm. something brand new, you know, a, an open course of, mm -hmm. well, I don't know where I'm going, but I'm ready because he's got to be free. And I think yeah. that is a big aspect of freedom is being mm -hmm. able to take that leap of faith mm -hmm. into the unknown. Right. Right. Yeah. I agree. And then. He says, on board, I'm the captain. Yeah. So, like, he is creating his own destiny, the captain of his life, you could oh, say. You know what I mean? that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. I agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you, get to, you get to captain your own ship. Right. When you do that. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. But he's asking others to come with him. Why do you think that is? I think he wants other people to feel as free as he does. Mm. You know, when you get to that point in your life, when you realize you are the captain of your own boat and you create your own reality, you want other people to feel that feeling with you. Yeah. I can't get Moana out of my head <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, we're warriors. <laughs> but I, I kind of have a picture right now of all a fleet of ships. Mm. Mm-hmm. All the people that are ready to set themselves free are, come, come sail with me. Yeah. In other words, you don't have to get on my ship. You don't have to do what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. You don't have to follow me. Just come with me. Yeah. Come Be sailing. Free. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I yeah. think, I think that is a more... Um, enlightened way of looking at that mm -hmm. rather than come with me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, they're searching for tomorrow on every shore. Mm. I love that because for me it's like when, when you wake up in the morning, it's a new day. Right. So what shore are you going to walk on to? What, what's going to be there? Mm -hmm. it's, it's all brand new. So they're searching for tomorrow, meaning they don't know what it's going to bring. They don't know what's going to be there, but they're willing to try it. Oh, I'll try. Oh, Lord, I'll try. Right? Yeah. To, to carry, carry on. on. Yeah. In other words, I'll wake up every day 
and I'm gonna I'm going to stay in this aspect of freedom and not not look you know have to be so regimented constrained yes yeah. yes and so scheduled and I have yes. to do this and I have to do that no <laughs> yeah no especially with I don't mean to skip too far ahead, but the we lived happily forever, so the story goes, but somehow we missed out on the pot of gold. When you were reading that, I kind of pictured, like, how he says we lived happily ever after, so the story goes. So, like, he might have had that, you know, American dream that society mm. tells you you should have. You can have all the money in the world, a big family, a nice house, but somehow we missed out on the pot of gold, which you could... I kind of thought of it as they missed out on true happiness. Mm. They had all these amazing happily ever after things, but they missed out on the pot of gold, the true happiness. Yeah. And that's why he wants people to sail with him because he wants to share beautiful. the joy. Yeah. 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 Because right. You know, when, when you push and try to make things happen, you, you use your own energy mm. and you, you know, that's what causes the anxiety and the frustration, because if it doesn't go exactly as you had planned it, then, then, you know, you get upset about it and, and you get angry or this or that, right. you know, yeah. but if you just kind of let go mm -hmm. and sail and, and allow the winds to take you where they may, then there is no attachment right. to what tomorrow will bring. Yeah. So it, reflections of the waves spark my memory i thought that was really cool mm -hmm. because there is such a thing as divination with water oh you can just gaze into a bowl of water mm -hmm. and the surface of the water will show you pictures oh wow and so for me i was like wow could you imagine reflecting on the entire sea <laughs> wow what you could see yeah like the whole universe <laughs> yes exactly yeah. and and of course it memories came up some happy and some sad and that's what you were speaking of he went back to friends he had and all and what dreams they had mm -hmm. and that was what you were saying about we lived happily forever, so the story goes. Right. Yeah. But you know what is funny is the living happily ever after? Mm -hmm. What is that? Exactly. And I think that's what... It's a fairy tale. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a yeah. fairy tale. Life is, life is real in that it's physical. Does that make sense? Yeah. In other words, we see, we feel, we taste, we smell. Um, in fairy tale, it's just a dream. Mm. So when we can let go of those dreams that we feel like we have to have or we have to do... Right then we can begin to just experience life mm -hmm. instead of making life. Right. And you Does can that make sense? Hopefully get the pot of gold. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Only when you find your true freedom in life is when right. you get that. And, and you have to learn to define your heart of gold mm -hmm. because what is it? For you, it's right. different for every single person. Mm -hmm. And that's where the freedom comes in. So then, drum. <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you let go and begin to just be instead of do? Mm -hmm. Because what are we? We are human beings. We are supposed to be not do. We're not human doings, although that's what we are now. A lot of us, we're just so busy, 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 doing, doing, doing. Right. But if we learn to just be, a gathering of angels appeared above my head. They sang this song of hope, and this is what they said. 
Come sail away with me. Gathering of angels, do you see that as, like, he experienced heaven on earth? Mm, that's a beautiful statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I do believe that when we do let go mm -hmm. and we begin to live from our heart and from our joy and from our happiness, we do begin to sense mm -hmm. with our true senses. In other words, we can see, we can hear, we can feel things yeah. that are not physical. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> so I do believe that he, you know, he saw angels. Mm -hmm. um, and what's interesting is that angels are what we have been, I guess, exposed to through our belief structures as having come from God mm -hmm. um, and having wings and so on and so forth, flying beings, right? Right. I mean, when, when I say the word angel, what appears in your head? A guy with big old wings. <laughs> <laughs> like in a white robe, yeah. right? Yeah. Glow. Yeah. Yes, glowing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So the interesting thing is, is that um, <laughs> if you've ever watched the show Ancient Aliens, <laughs> mm. they believe that angels are simply galactic beings. Yeah. And that um, back then nobody had a concept of flight. In other words, if a person had like a space suit on and could fly through the air, you know, or came in an airplane, um, they knew that birds flew. Mm -hmm. And so they associated flight with wings. Right. Which we, I mean, duh, right? Airplanes have to have wings. <laughs> To fly, you have to have some type of wing. Mm -hmm. um, or, yes, you do, I think. You know, you can fly with a parachute and stuff, but that's not um, the same type of flight. Right, more of a gliding. Right. Falling very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> right. If yeah. you want to go um, vertically, mm -hmm. then you need wings. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you can be lifted and all, but I thought that was fascinating as the drums build up, build up, build up, and then all yeah. of a sudden, this real galactic music starts. Yeah. And then he says, I thought that they were angels, but to my surprise, we climbed aboard their starship. We headed for the skies. That is so interesting that it goes from very specifically talking about sailing on the ocean at the beginning to sailing the skies at the end. As is above, so mm. is below. <laughs> right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. also what I thought was real fascinating is, and... And it, this song is so appropriate now because, I mean, all I hear on the news is UFO sightings, UFO yeah. sightings, UFO sightings. Yeah. We're finally opening up to the acknowledgement that, hey, we're not alone in this universe. Right. You know, there are many other beings, galactic beings out there. Mm -hmm. And when we open up to that possibility, I, I believe that they can come and visit with us mm, yeah. and see us and interact with us because we have dropped that barrier of fear right that that disconnects us mm -hmm. from all the other beautiful beings in this world mm -hmm. they're not here to destroy us they're not here to take over the world <laughs> right they're, you know, they're a part of us. We're connected to everything. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the point that everybody forgets. Yeah. You know, 
that that galactic being is actually part of me too. Yeah. If I truly believe that I come from the one creator that created everything in this wide, 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 mm -hmm. wide universe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, he definitely doesn't sound fearful at all in the end. He's singing oh, with Oh, he these... climbed aboard the starship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Would any of you let us know? Let us know if you would get on a starship and you would take a ride in the skies. Yeah. Yeah. If if a starship visited you, would you climb aboard? <sighs> would I get to bring my dog? <laughs> you, know, you could bring your dog. There we I, go. <laughs> then yeah, I might. <laughs> I thought about it too. I, you know, I would love to visit with them, mm -hmm. but I I love I love being here. I love yeah. being on Earth. Mm -hmm. I love the physicality of this, of touching, seeing, feeling, smelling. Mm -hmm. So I would love to um, visit mm -hmm. um, with them and talk to them and get to know their, where they're from. But I don't know that I would actually climb aboard the starship. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. That yes. would, you know, when that day comes, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's yeah. where I'm at with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a beautiful song. Mm -hmm. um, and you're so right, Allison. It started off with set an open course for the Virgin Sea, which is the unknown. Mm -hmm. So this could all be simply a meditation, too. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. know? Yeah. I mean, he could have just, you can just sit there and picture in your mind stepping aboard a sailboat mm -hmm. sailing on the ocean and then being visited by what you think are angels and then having the starship come down and you can step aboard that starship and you can fly away with with them yeah and then open your eyes and still be right here and I mean, the beginning goes from he's traveling the vast sea, and then by the end of it, he's so free and open, he's exploring the entire vast universe. Oh, that's which I beautiful. think is really cool. What a way to yeah. end this. <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. Yes, yes. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Thank you all so, so much for joining us today for yes, Lyrical thank Wisdom. You. Thank you, Allison, for you. standing in for Bruce. And we'll be here next week at 1030. And if you have any lyric or any song that you would like for us to dissect with wisdom, send it to lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. That's lyricalwisdomshow at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have been listening to Lyrical Wisdom right here on 99.1 FM WQEE. Stay tuned next week for another edition of your new favorite show, Lyrical Wisdom, bringing together the partnership of your favorite songs and the light within. Presented by House of Light, 29 Jackson Street in Noonan, 470-414-6711. Lyrical Wisdom, presented by House of Light. See you next week.